the more tender the plant, the more extreme the winter protection. In the second part of winter protection, we will discuss cold frames and their construction. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And to all the people who are new to the channel, a special welcome. A brief background, I garden in Zone 5B, Ontario, Canada. And I grow tropicals and subtropicals for close to 30 years or so. My cold frames are designed with a frame covered with various materials. The one that works the best for me is a twin wall polycarbonate. But again, this will depend on your budget and the duration of your freeze, you may not have to go that elaborate. There are two styles of cold frames I have used in the past. There's a budget version and it's covered with a single pane of glass or polypropylene vapor barrier material or styrofoam panels. It's not as long lasting but it may get you through in a pinch. Consider your long-term budget when choosing your materials. Consider the quality, the durability, etc. What you save in building material cost, you will lose in heating cost. And the plant may not get enough sunlight, which will limit their growth. Many of my plants do continue to grow through the winter because I've chosen to go with twin wall polycarbonate. It's a lot more expensive. They're more durable. They offer higher insulation properties and light transmission. Now depending on the zone you are in, a single layer of plastic might be the difference between your plant surviving frost or not. You can create a scaffolding type frame which you can add on to as your tree grows. Uh, you can use metal or plastic tubing as a frame. Many people simply build a plywood box or a 2x4 frame covered with styrofoam and that may be sufficient, but there are many factors to consider. This is what has worked for me in the past. Again, this far north, we don't have to be worried about overheating during the winter. The sun's intensity is not that strong. The ambient temperature on a sunny day in midwinter is about 20 degrees Celsius or around 68 Fahrenheit. Further south, you may need to ventilate or only putting up the shelter during the coldest parts of the freeze. Now, each layer of protection, according to Elliot Coleman, is like going 500 miles further south. And by layer of protection, I mean each sealed layer. He's done extensive research on winter gardening with minimal heat. Now let's talk about cold frames and their construction. This is an 8-foot cold frame for my palm trees. I'll show you how I construct it. Twin wall polycarbonate aluminum tracks to hold it in place. This is how it looks assembled. Minus the screws to hold down the uh, aluminum. When building and assembling your coal frames, build them completely. Then you may want to label the panels to make assembly quicker in future years. Here are some tools you might need. Level, 
to level the brick foundation for your pull frame. Pruners. Trowel. Some string. Masking tape to secure things. And another brick to elevate the cord so there's no chance it'll get wet. It is in a raised bed. You'll also need a thermal cube. Keep the temperature between plus two and plus seven, or 35 to 45 Fahrenheit. You'll need a three-pronged extension cord, suitable for outdoor use, and extension cord for Christmas lights. You need some frost cloth to wrap the plants. I recommend building raised beds around all my plants. In this case, garden wall blocks are used, but you can use concrete blocks, bricks, etc. The beds are lined with styrofoam panels, the full height of the wall, and you can go below into the native soil, which adds even more protection. The styrofoam was wrapped with a couple layers of black plastic. You then mound the soil higher into the center of your bed so rain and snow will flow away from the plant. Then I put a row of bricks to act as a base or foundation for the coal frame. Be sure the bricks are leveled and you place them well in advance so they're settled and are sitting on fairly compact soil. Extra soil is then added to backfill so you don't see the sides of the bricks. The protection methods include wrapping the plant and this is done in stages. The first thing you do is you wrap the plant loosely. You tie it together with string or tape depending on the plant. Then you wrap the string of lights around the plant and when wrapping be sure that the lights face outwards and that the bulbs don't contact the leaves or the plant's tissues. Over time it will burn the plant. Locate your thermostat on the coldest side of your plant. I would suggest two or three inches off the ground. I put a brick under mine to prevent moisture from wicking up. Wrap one string of lights, C9 bulbs, for most plants is more than sufficient. Each bulb is 7 watts and there are 25 bulbs, which equals 175 watts total. For more tender plants, you can leave the bulbs plugged in 24-7 without a thermostat. Then I wrap the entire thing with frost cloth and this creates a tent. Why heat the entire volume of air inside the coal frame? and this traps extra heat and you will actually heat less by using this method. Once everything is wrapped then I put up the coal frame. I build three sides complete. Remove one panel and the bottom brace to put around your plant. I remove the bottom brace Stand it upright. Set the three-sided box in position around your plant. There we go. This gets anchored down. Then you screw the bottom brace back on. and then you put the bottom brace back on, screwing it back together. And then you put up the last panel. And then you attach your panel
and the last thing we do is we have to anchor it to the ground. You don't want wind to blow it over. Now, depending on the size and quantity of coal frames, what I found very successful are these metal T-posts which are used for fencing. They do a great job. Now the wind can't knock it over. You then wrap it with heavy gauge wire. You do it at the lowest hole on the T-post and the upper hole. Keep it more secure. So if there is a strong wind, it's not going to lift off the base. Notice how the base lines up. It's above the uh, soil so the wood will not rot or it should last much longer you can also use wire in this case i use a clothesline wire which is plastic coated uh, for some of the taller structures the first large palm it protected was a 14 foot pindle palm and it was pretty scary to watch 70 and 80 kilometer winds uh, moving that cold frame around The black plastic serves two purposes. Number one, it keeps the weather out. It keeps the rain from entering and uh, cooling down the soil. We don't want cold, wet roots through the winter. Raised beds. So any rain that comes here or melting snow is going to run off. My main source of heat are C9 light bulbs. They're incandescent. Your heat source may include light bulbs, heating cables, electric space heaters, propane, etc. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. Happy gardening.